Bitcoin is an emotional roller coaster, which leads the majority of people losing their money. In today's video, we're gonna keep it simple. We're gonna look at the most important charts and you're gonna leave this video with absolute clarity, peace of mind, and a calm sense about how you're going to dominate the future. But I have a question. Do you wanna know when to buy and when to sell? Do you wanna have more free time? Do you wanna have extra income? Do you wanna make up to five times more in this bull run? I have exactly what you need. My courses have the largest discount in six years right now, but only for a limited time only, a massive 75% off. My courses are exactly what you need in your life right now. Now, if you say your courses are expensive, I would agree, my courses are expensive and they'll take about 10 minutes per day, but you won't find anything even close to the quality and the results you'll get. You might say, okay, Steve, I'm interested to sign up, but I'm gonna wait for more profits and sign up later. You could do that, or you can invest in yourself and your education right now and make up to five times more in this bull run as opposed to doing your other plan. Think about, imagine five times more money sitting in front of you right now. Don't throw that away. Sign up today. The clock is ticking. Time is running out. Go to CryptoCrewUniversity.com. My courses are for day traders, swing traders, and long-term investors. And my strategy that you're going to learn is going to work. This is a lifelong strategy. This is a lifelong game changer. Today is the moment you put your foot down and you go sign up and have your life on a brand new, fresh path to success. CryptoCrewUniversity.com. Now, let's jump into this chart. This is going to be our first chart. We're on the weekly chart. We've got a lot of action happening at the top of our screen in price action. In the middle of our screen, we have even more action happening with the RSI on the weekly. And then at the bottom of your screen, you see a lot of things happening in the stochastic RSI. Let's start at the top with price action. When we look at price action, what we realize is this red line, the 200 week moving average is, it's not up for debate. This is the most important moving average in all of crypto, the 200 week. So if you go to the weekly, you pop on the 200 MA, you're gonna notice something very strategic is every single bear market we've had has been holding support, right? 2015, boom, first bottom, second bottom, support, 2018, First bottom, second bottom, support on the 200 week moving average. This is the first time in history that we've fallen below it, right? And we've just regained it. So the first question may be, well, why did we fall below it? Is this a problem? For those of you who follow my channel, you know my theory on this. It's we've had diminishing returns by a factor of 5.3. When the market didn't rally as high as it's, as it's used to, and we fell a normal fall from our height, we fell below the 200 MA. We didn't go as high and we fell just as far as we've fallen before. And common sense will tell you, okay, if we didn't go as high, but we fell as far as we did before, we're gonna fall below this, right? And we're probably gonna do it in the next market cycle in four years from now and it's not going to be a concern what's important is that we just regained this red line this 200 ma we held it as resistance back here in february right falling down below to here and actually on this channel we called this dragonfly doji right do you remember that the dragonfly doji was right here it printed on the weekly and we said hey by definition these dragonfly dojis are found at the bottom of downtrends and signify a reversal in price so the the price went from about 19,000 up to 31. So we regained this level momentarily. We fell below it with this candle holding as resistance. So we've been battling this level. We have it now, we're above it now. And what we notice is that price is relatively healthy and we're in this pattern that we pointed out in past videos. We talked about it about 98 days ago, how Bitcoin is not likely to, to close above 31,000 for the next 100-ish days. And so so far, we are 98 days into that, and here we are. Bitcoin hasn't closed above 31,000. Price has been pretty boring, but it's building market structure. This is phase one of the bull, and by design, it has to build structure on our prior resistance. That's the whole point of this phase of the bull run. If we don't do that, it's a short-lived bull run. If we do do that, it's a healthy bull run. And so far, we are doing that. We're building
building structure right on top of our prior resistance prior resistance here and here now that resistance is our support and by the way that same resistance used to be our support back in these days right and it's the same for every market structure so far so here we are today and we're right on cue, right? So price action is looking good. There's no concerns with price action. We're right on schedule. We're 98 days in to where we're supposed to be. We're supposed to be having boring price action with low volatility. We're building structure directly on top of our prior resistance. There is no concern at all. However, if you're out of the market and you've been out of the market, maybe because you got burned near this top, maybe you invested in crypto, you know, around 40, 50,000, and then suddenly we started crashing down and then you panicked near the bottom and maybe you sold some at 17,000 or, or 16,000 or 15, you sold your position because you bought up here at 40 or 50 and you're like, what the hell am I doing? And you're still sitting on your hands because you still feel that burn of what you faced back here. You've got to take a deep breath and look at what you've done before and throw all of that in the trash. That's where it belongs. You clearly didn't have a strategy. And obviously, I talked about it in the beginning of the show, you can get my strategy, the best strategy, a dominating strategy, a life-changing strategy at CryptoKoreaUniversity.com with the largest discount we've had in six years. But if you don't want to do that, go get a strategy from somewhere. You have to do it today because what's happened, I've felt that before. When you get burned near the top and then you overcompensate and you think you're going to hero sell and come back in and then you sit on your hands. I sat on my hands through a whole cycle before in the stock market where we recovered after the dot-com bubble and I didn't know it was recovering. I thought it was going to crash further because I thought I was a genius. I was not a genius. I was just an idiot and my ego got too big. That That's what happens. It's very common in trading. And a, a lot of trading is just emotional. Everything I just described about the top and the bottom, these are just emotional decisions. They're not even based on logic. They're just based on pure emotion. And what happens is those people will sit on the sidelines and they'll get back in when Bitcoin reaches above 50,000 again. And then they'll get burned again, unfortunately. But it's very easy to see Bitcoin is in phase one of the bull. Until proven otherwise, we've been in phase one of the bull. We first announced it on our channel back in January. We confirmed it in February. And by March, it became undeniable. And here we are in July. And it's still undeniable. So when you think about, okay... Bitcoin is in phase one of the bull and you look at this chart, this is when we start to move higher in prices. We predicted that this red line in our Traders Dynamic Index, when it moves above the orange line, as stated in our previous video, that's when the market's really going to move into this next phase. We talked about in our prior video yesterday, the hash ribbons printing that, flashing that red. Now let's draw our attention to the middle of the screen. We talked about price action we're not really concerned with price action at the moment, but we do have some concerns with the middle of our screen. As you can see, Bitcoin has just broken through this yellow line. So let's break it down. When you take a step back at the middle of our screen, the RSI on the weekly, it was in this downtrending line for multiple years, right? Dating back all the way to January, 2021. So multiple years holding resistance from here in this kind of pressure cooker. And then we finally broke above it and we broke above it in a pretty major way, forming this new market structure here. This new market structure really started with this double top that formed right here, January and as well in February 13th. This double top was not a good thing to see. It marked resistance for us and it pushed the market really far down and kind of in a downward spiral. But luckily for us, we caught a double bottom and that double bottom proved to be even stronger than that double top. And that double bottom is a reversal pattern to the upside. And not only did we stop here, we blasted through it to a new high of up here. Once we got up there, the market was incredibly healthy. We had that double bottom that confirmed this area is incredibly strong support right? This area was our resistance. It should now be our support. And it held true. We had a high here and we crashed down. We crashed down where? Right to our support zone. And it did hold that support. And that bounce that we saw from here was relatively weak. That weak bounce led 
to have fall down all the way back down to our base. We were free falling, right? And as we free fell, we came down here and actually rallied up again, only to be met with resistance once again. Again, we were holding support here. When you break support, it turns into resistance, and that's what it was. That free fall in price and in our RSI, luckily for us, we held this base prior, right? All the way dating back to March 6th. And luckily for us, on June 5th, it determined that this support was incredibly strong. That support held us, and we saw a big bounce, bigger than this one and bigger than this one. But there was one problem. This bounce that we saw off of our base was a lower high than our previous high. This was our previous high. This is a lower high. So we're showing some weakness. So we saw some weakness come into the market, and we knew that this was still our structure. This should hold us as support, and right now, it's not. So are we really, really concerned? Well, we've got to be a little bit concerned, but we would only be genuinely really concerned if we broke this blue line. This blue line has been our market structure dating back all the way to February 6th. So to break a structure that we've essentially had all year, it, it would be a concern, right? Now, keep in mind, one thing to keep in mind for sure is that this has not closed yet. We still have multiple days before this closes. And by the time we fast forward a handful of days, we may very well be holding this line as support. It's still to be determined. So this line, I'm not as concerned with this market structure here. I would be more concerned with this blue line breaking through it. But we're nowhere near that yet, and there's still a handful of days before we have any close. But what the market does need to see is we're going to need to form a higher high than this one in our next cycle up in this RSI in the coming months. We've got to get above this 63 area, which proved to be resistance back here in April and then once again in June. So the market needs to see a higher high than that and start to hold this yellow line as support and not break the blue. Now let's get to our stochastic RSI. So for the stochastic RSI at the bottom of our screen, what we've done is every six months, like clockwork, we have the same exact move which propels the market forward for Bitcoin. And it's a stochastic RSI cross on schedule every six months for the past few years. If you're just hearing this for the first time, that means you don't watch our channel regularly and you probably need to subscribe right now because we talk about just the facts and the charts. Not what I hope is going to happen, not what I think might maybe happen, not flip-flopping every day. We stick to the true facts in the charts. And every six months, we have a stochastic RSI cross. And that cross shoots the market up. And six months later, we have another cross. Even in a downfalling market, that shot the market up. And then six months again, just like clockwork, shooting the market up. Six months again, shooting the market up like clockwork. And most recently, we had a cross here. From that cross, we've seen about 30% increase in price so far. But there's a little bit of trouble coming. Once you zoom in and you understand where we are in the stochastic RSI cross, we're showing some signs of weakness in our blue line. Again, blue line on top, it's good. Usually means price goes up. When the red line is on top, it's usually bad. It means price is going down right? So price is generally tied hand in hand with the ability for the market to have momentum. And the stochastic RSI is all about momentum. So do we have momentum in the market right now? We have to say yes, because our blue line is on top. But we have to have some concern because our blue line appears to be slowing down and getting close to a cross. Now, the good news for us is we don't close for a handful of days. So it's irrelevant what this is looking like today or in the next hour or tomorrow. It's irrelevant. We need to wait for a close to confirm the market. I mean, men lie, women lie, the charts don't lie. We are showing a little bit of signs of turmoil, and we need to see how our momentum comes out of this. Are we going to continue our momentum upward, or are we going to see a cross down? And if we see a cross down, are we going to hold this blue line as support? And if that happens, are we going to hold the 200-week moving average as support? Those things are still to be determined. I think the broader picture is uh, from this is to look at one of our previous charts 
from yesterday, and we want to continue this structure. If we break the blue line or we break this or we lose momentum, it's irrelevant, but we want to continue in phase one of the bull. And in a future video, I'm going to share a little trade secret to know if we're still in that phase one of the bull. So stay tuned for that video as well. You have to know what's going to happen when you get in a trade. You have to know when you're going to take profits. You have to know where your stop losses are. You have to know how to calculate your win and loss ratios. You have to understand how to document in your trade journal. There are so many attributes to this that overwhelm and complicate people and they give up and they end up losing all their money in crypto. And I do not want that to happen to you. You have a cheat code right in front of you. I have the largest ever discount on my courses. This is a bank robbery for you. I'm basically giving away the courses. You'll see, when you sign up, there's just ridiculous value. It's lifelong value. It's value that you can share with your kids. Scoop up the courses. It'll be the best decision you've ever made in the financial market, ever ever made in the financial market. Your best decision ever is going to be signing up to my courses. Mark my words. I know you will say it to me after you sign up. You're going to be like, damn, I knew Steve had courses, but I didn't know they're at this level. You will see. Go to CryptoCareerUniversity.com. I'll see you on the inside and I'm going to help you change your life. Peace and love to the fellow underdogs. I'm going to try for another upload. Let's rock and roll. Let's try to get two uploads today. I'll see you back here on the next one. I was just investing my money, throwing it into the abyss. Uh, lost a pretty good amount of money. I was losing bad. Tens of thousands of dollars. I realized that I definitely didn't know enough. I decided to start taking his classes. I and now with Steve's plan, I'm up 32,000. It was just a totally different experience for me. When I spent on the course times three. I've been staying disciplined. And you learn to do it without emotion. I'm appreciative for this course. It really works. Don't be scared. Take the leap. Do the courses. It is amazing. It'll change your life. It changed mine.